Okay, so today we're going to use the Canon RF 15-35mm at f2.8 for street photography. It's a very good lens for video and it renders great images. But the challenge today is that we're only shooting at 15mm. Another thing about using an ultra wide angle lens is that it gives you this wow effect of converging lines because so much is being captured. Whenever you're using the ultra wide angle lens, every single line is being emphasized. But of course, you can fix that in post however you want, but the more you get right inside the camera, the less you have to do afterwards. Because any kind of small movement that you make might end up messing up your lines. Yo, check this out. I think this. This reminds me of guns. It is so hot out here today. At this rate, I really have to go inside this building. This building is, uh, I believe it's called Glacelle School of Art. It's actually a really nice looking building. Hopefully I can get some photos inside. So I just saw an airplane flew by. I believe this could be their pattern around here before they land. So hopefully I can get the building and the airplane at the same time. Right at this corner, I Hopefully, hopefully I can get it. But that's gonna mean I'm gonna have to stay here and camp out a little bit. Well, the good thing is there's shade, so it shouldn't be too bad. So it's been about 10 minutes now and I haven't seen an airplane yet. All right, I think I'm gonna come back around here. Hopefully then the plane will come back. By the way, using the 15, like the ultra wide angle lens is extremely hard for street photography. Using just the 15mm, it's quite fun actually. It really breaks all the concept that I have, like all the muscle memories too. Especially when it comes to framing, I have to be like super precise with my framing than whenever I'm using a 28, 35 or even any of the standard lens really. Using the ultra wide angle lens for photos makes me think a lot more behind the camera. Like I find myself really have to study the frame, like study it not just like point and then okay it looks pretty good and then press the shutter. Like framing by itself slows me down like a whole lot before I take any photos. I found their stairs. I'm not sure where I'm going with this place. Where does it lead me? This is stair B, so there's a stair D right on the outside. Maybe I should try the stair D later. No, this tunnel is insane. Check this place out. I know it's an art museum, but I have no idea there's a tunnel here. I feel like using the ultra wide angle to take photos, especially for street, is actually a challenge because you include way too much in a frame. So it's easy to include like unnecessary things in there, which will be more of a distraction. Really hard to be selective and decide what to put inside the frame because 15 is very wide and just covers everything. Well, one of the advantage using ultra wide angle is that my subject might not even know that I'm taking photos of them. So the ultra wide angle lens, the 15 millimeter to be exact, well, I'm 20 right now, this is 15. It's a very special lens. It's a very special focal length for a very specific 
purposes, I believe. And it's it's actually great. It's really fun to play with. I, let me get some water. It's so hot today. It's so white to the point where it gives you that wow factor of like everything. And especially you can see like this kind of, do you see my finger here? It kind of like sucks into the frame here and does that kind of effect which makes everything more dramatic, especially all the lines that you see in frame, which makes framing particularly hard. It takes a while to get used to that kind of feeling. I don't like this background. Let's, let's come over here. All right, I would not consider today's photo walk successful. Even though I did get some pretty good shots, pretty cool shots actually, that I never thought I would because I never been through that tunnel before. I think that's like brand new since I haven't been to the place for like the past two, three years. But I feel like this whole time I was trying to combat and trying to figure out, try to fit, try to really see through the 15 millimeter, the ultra wide angle, because there are just so much stuff that it includes in the frame. And all this time I'm trying to like pick and choose and try to fit the things I actually want inside the frame. And a lot of the shots are just messy, in my opinion. Simply put, it just shows way too much inside the frame. But I do like that for videos because it does like this establishment shot of where I am. So you guys, the audience, can see what's actually going on around me. But when it comes to photography, it changes everything. Even though it's really hard to eliminate details when using the ultra wide angle lens, it's still a very fun lens to use. It gives you that wow factor and especially for architectures, whenever you're inside a building or even outside the building, whenever the building looks good, let's just put it that way. Especially the art school that I went to today, I would hate myself for not having an ultra wide angle there because the grand scheme of things is just so minimal and the color and just the way the things are laid out, it's very artsy. And if I only have the 35 or 50 or even the 85, I wouldn't be able to capture the whole thing and include every bit of details that's in that building. But using the 15, the ultra wide angle gives you that different perspective. You have to really think about the perspective. It's a whole new different world. The photo I might take with the 35 or 28 usually doesn't align with the 15. And I think that's a great benefit of this lens from 15 to 35, the coverage is perfect. I think it would be even better if it goes to 40. Like we're using different focal lengths for specific purposes, not just using it for the sake of it. I feel like the ultra wide angle lens would be so much fun to use in like big cities where you're always in a very confined space and you still want to capture all the context around you or around the subject. And yes, the framing and all that takes a while to fix and get used to but the wow factor and the results it's just so much more amazing anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as i do making them and if this is something that you're into definitely check out this video next until then i'll see you guys in the next one